Hello everyone and welcome to another lecture for the Bioinformatics for Schoolers course. Today we will be doing an exercise hands-on to identify a particular gene from a given DNA sequence. So like we already discussed in our previous lecture that you know there could be multiple scenarios. You could already know the organism from which you want to find out a particular gene and then choose a gene and get the DNA sequence of that gene. Or otherwise also you could have a specific gene in mind on which you want to work and you want the DNA sequence of that particular gene. So both the scenarios we'll be looking at and then we will also use a given DNA sequence to map it back to a uh, map it back and find out which gene does it belong to. So for today's exercise, we will be looking at the organism known as dog. We will choose a gene from the dog's genome get the DNA sequence of that particular gene. And then from the FASTA sequence of the gene, we will take a section or a, um, a segment of the sequence as a given DNA sequence and then try and map it back and see if we can land up at the same gene again. So um, we will start the hands-on session. So, so the first step is to go to the NCBI's um, web browser page and from the uh, drop down section from here we have to select genome and press in uh, write in your organism's name which is dog and press enter so once we press enter we can now see a page which you know gives us basic details about the organism like that uh, organism of our interest is dog its scientific name is canis lupus familiaris and there is a reference genome already available. So if we want to either download the entire genome sequence or the transcript sequence or the protein sequence of the reference genome, we can. There are more 16 genomes from for the same species uh, which are available that again we can download from here. And if you go below, there are other statistics like we already discussed that, you know, the sequence statistics like there are 16 genome assemblies, how much is the total median length of the um, genome that is present, how much is the median GC content that is present. All these details are mentioned in the summary tab. If we scroll down below, there there is a tab called as chromosomes where you can see the number of chromosomes that are present in the dog. And if we select the chromosome first, for example, just for the sake of ease, I'm taking chromosome 1. You could select any chromosome that you wish to. Now, once we press on the chromosome 1, it will redirect us to another tab where um, it will open up the genome data viewer tab. And here you can again see all the chromosomes that are present in the dog. And over towards your right, you could see that these cap capital letter uh, words are the genes that are present in this particular region that is selected. You could scroll uh, towards the right or towards the left. So on this particular region of the uh, navigator that is present here, which is known as the Exxon navigator of the NCPI genome data viewer, you, you can already see that they have already mentioned that there are too many 2306 genes in the region. So we either have to, you know, zoom out, zoom in or scroll here and there to find out which genes are present in this particular region. So for example, let us choose this gene known as LAMA2. And now let us try and download its sequence from here. So when we click here, or you just have to hover on this particular LAMA2 box that you can see small green color, that there will be an information tab that will open where it will tell you the name of the gene, the location on the chromosome, the length of the gene, the position and the NCID also. There are other things also present. So if you already want to download the FASTA sequence of the gene from here, you, could, you can always go and click on this and it will open into another tab where you can see that the entire sequence of the gene is present here. You could just download the sequence from here. Otherwise, now let's say that you already know that this is the gene that you want to work on. Let's say LAMA2 is the gene that you want to work on and you knew that it belongs to the dog organism, but you don't know on which chromosome or from where do you have to go and download. So instead of going from the genome chromosome wise to find out where your gene is, you could directly go to the gene sub database of the NCBI browser and type in your gene name. So once you type in your gene name and again press search, 
the tab is going to open where you will be able to see all the genes that are present in different organisms so since our our interest organism is the canis lupus familiaris so this is the organism that we are interested in so we will be clicking on this particular uh, entry and then you will have an option i mean you will be redirected to a page where again you will have multiple informations about the particular gene like it is a protein coding gene from where was it um first sourced and what is the official full name of the gene and you know what all lineages does it belong to does it have in human mouse or other organisms ortholog and what are the assemblies that it is currently being mapped to so multiple uh, informations about the gene can be found out on this particular page but we were interested in um, in getting the fasta sequence of this particular gene so we just have to click on this download data sets and a particular folder of this particular gene will get downloaded with the gene uh, fasta sequence in it so now let us just look at the gene fasta sequence so the gene fasta sequence i have already downloaded and kept so it looks like this so this is the lama2 gene that we have been talking about and this is the um, gene uh, genes fasta sequence so what we can do is we can just select a particular section from this gene itself and assume that this is our uh, given dna sequence so the third scenario could be that you just have been given a random dna sequence and you now want to map it back and find out which gene is it so since we already know that this is the lama2 gene uh, sequence that we have downloaded it will be a good exercise to you know come back to the same gene that we were working on so i have already copied a section of the gene now this is the blast or the blat ensemble pep page that you will be looking at now here there are multiple genomes that are present so we need to first select the genome that we are working on so we are working on the dog's genome so if you just scroll down below yeah so this is the dog's genome that we are working on so we will select that and now the top top corner of the ensembles web page has an option known as blast or blat so we need to click on this particular option so let us just do another job so when you press on a new job you will be redirected to this tab where you have to uh, enter in your sequence data so sequence data i have already copied and kept so this is the random dna sequence just assume that this is a random dna sequence which we don't know anything about now we just know that it's a dna sequence and we need to find out um, what is the gene so since this much information you do need to have that which genome are you working on so we know that it is from the dog's genome so um, we have selected it against uh, the species that we are interested in and again we are using blast n which is the by default selected um, search tool that is present in the ensemble blat uh, browser and we click on run so this takes quite some time so it will take somewhere around 5 to 10 minutes depending on the speed of the internet and everything else so we will just uh, view the older um blast uh, results that i had already performed before so if you click on this it will redirect you again to a page where it will show you the job details like what i what what were the details that were done so it was that we had uh, done a blast against the dog a uh, genome sequence and it was a blast n that was done so once we uh, get the results table you can see that there is an e value which is supposed to be very low so a uh, e value of 0 and percentage identity of 100 is an ideal to you know consider it for a result so if you just select on the first genomic location because that has given us the most number of hits and the 100% sequence identity so once we click on this we will be able to see that you know in the detailed region detail tab uh, the gene is lama2 as we already knew so this is just a reconfirmation that uh, we started with a gene uh, i mean we started with an organism dog we selected a gene which was lama2 we downloaded the sequence from the genome uh, sub database as well 
as well as if we were interested in the gene lama 2 separately we also downloaded the sequence of the gene lama 2 separately and once we had the sequence of lama 2 gene we took a section of the sequence and tried finding out if it can map back to the same gene again or not and here we are that it has mapped back to the lama 2 gene again and it's from the dog's uh, genome and we can see that this is the blast a uh, sequence so since we selected only a small portion of the gene it is only a small portion that has that has come up as mapped so we can see that it's an ensemble protein coding uh, region that has been mapped so we know that the gene that uh, we were working working on or the sequence that was given to us belongs to the lama 2 gene so this is how you uh, actually go back and forth to find out the gene mm -hmm. sequence or to find out the gene from a given dna sequence so depending on what application you are working on uh, you will be using these tools or these techniques to find out the sequence of your gene of interest and um, that's all from uh, the today's lecture and uh, you can try this exercise with any other gene of interest you could use tp53 um gene from the humans as well and try this out and if there are any doubts or you get stuck anywhere please feel free to write to us and uh, we will see you in the next lecture thank you